Hey everyone, this is Tim from Yorsex Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Xbox Series X or S controller not connecting to your Xbox. And this could be relatively easy. Now, the first thing we want to do is turn off the controller so we can hold down the Xbox button for at least 5 to 10 seconds, and this will manually turn off the controller. And you'll know it's turned off when the light is turned off. Otherwise, what you want to do is remove the batteries on the back of the controllers. If you do have the Elite controller, obviously there is no battery pack, so just simply turn it off by holding down the button. Now, go ahead and turn back on the controller, and then what we want to do is hold down the Sync button now. So continue to hold down the Sync button on the top of the controller, and you'll notice that it's going to vibrate twice after about 10 seconds, and then it's going to shut off. And that's an indication that the controller is now reset. Now we can reconnect the controller back to the Xbox. So I have my controller turned off right now. Let's do the same thing to our Xbox. So hold down the Xbox button, and this will manually turn off the Xbox and power it down. And we want to just quickly hard reset our Xbox by unplugging it from the wall outlet for about one minute. So let's turn around now. Unplug the power cord and leave it unplugged in case there is some sort of issue. Many times just unplugging it does resolve it. And then let's plug it back in, then turn it around. Now turn on the controller, and then also turn on the Xbox. Then we're gonna reconnect it and resync it to the Xbox. So hold down the sync button on the controller for about three seconds, and do the same thing on your Xbox at the same time. So let's hold down the sync button now. I heard it powered on. So let's hold down both sync buttons for about three seconds at the same time. Both the lights are flashing, then let go, and these two lights should now be synced. Now if you do continue to have problems syncing, use a USB cable to connect it. So plug in a USB cable to the front of the Xbox in the USB slot, and then plug the other end into the controller, and then press the Xbox button, and then turn it on, and it should sync and connect. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.